Cassian Geron Andor, was a human male operative of the Alliance to Restore the Republic who was remembered as a hero after his sacrifice to secure the Galactic Empire's Death Star plans at the Battle of Scarif. An accomplished spy and assassin, Andor was well respected within the Rebellion and was trusted with leading Alliance intelligence missions by Alliance High Command. Originally a Canari boy named, Kassa, the human was rescued from a Republic vessel that had crashed on his mid-rim homeworld of Canari by smugglers Clem and Marva Andor prior to the Clone Wars. Thereafter, the boy was named Cassian Andor, given a forged identity as an individual born on the planet Fest, and settled with his adopted family, including the droid B2 EMO, on the free trade sector world Ferrix. Andor eventually made his way into the war against the Empire, working as a skilled spy, assassin, soldier, and pilot operating many rebel missions with aliases such as, Willix, Ark, Joroth Sward, Clem, and the codename, Fulcrum, by Zero BBY, and or was a captain for Alliance Intelligence and was assigned to assist in Operation Fracture. To extract Imperial scientist Galen Walton Urso, responsible for the development of a secret Imperial, planet killer, superweapon. Urso had tasked cargo pilot Body Rook with delivering a message about the weapon to renegade rebel leader Saw Gerrera on the Moon Jeddah. Andor, alongside his droid companion, K2SO, and Galen's daughter JYN Urso, traveled to Jeddah City and made acquaintances with two local guardians of the Wills, Chirrut Imwe and Baze Malbus. Together, they recovered Rook from Gerrera's enclave of rebel partisans, and JYN Urso watched her father's holographic message about the superweapon and M- named the Death Star. After a narrowly escaping the test firing of the Death Star on Jeddah, the crew traveled to the planet ED, where Galen Urso was stationed at an Imperial laboratory. Andor was secretly instructed by Alliance Intelligence's General David Draven to assassinate Galen Urso. And to that end, the rebel operative kept his intentions to himself and lied to JYN Urso that they would retrieve her father. However, Andor was conflicted as JYN Urso claimed that her father, per the message she received, was deceiving his imperial superiors and had installed a fatal flaw within the Death Star and M Dash. One that the rebels could exploit to utterly obliterate the weapon. Andor hesitated while Galen Urso was within his sniper rifle's scopes, and rebel reinforcements bombed the Imperial facility, killing Jin's father. After Andor pulled JYN Urso away from the ruined facility and their crew hastily fled aboard a stolen Imperial transport, the rebels gathered to discuss the threat of the Death Star at their hidden fortress on the moon Yavin 4. When Alliance High Command rejected JYN Urzo's plea to steal the Death Star plans from an Imperial installation on Scarif, and or assembled a team of soldiers willing to act of their own accord, having been inspired by Urzo's assertion that rebellions were built on hope and determination against all odds. The rebel team, designated Rogue One, was comprised of Andor, Urso, K2SO, Rook, Imwe, Malbus, and Sergeant Ruskot Melshi, and aimed to steal the plans themselves. Andor, Urso, and K2 so snuck into the Scarif base's Citadel Tower Vault, while Melshi led the bulk of their forces to cause chaos around the base by planting detonators and engaging the Imperial garrison. Upon the arrival of the Alliance fleet in Scarif's orbit, Andor and Rogue One requested the fleet to disrupt the planetary shield so that they could beam the Death Star plans to the fleet. Although the rebels succeeded in transmitting the plans, the Death Star itself came to Scarif and fired upon the Imperial base. Cassian Andor and JYN Urso embraced each other on the shores of Scarif in their last moments, satisfied that Jin's father would be proud. Thanks to Rogue One's efforts, the rebellion used the plans to identify the weak point planted by Galen Urso, and the Death Star was soon destroyed.